rapper Lil Wayne uh, is in jail for uh, possessing a weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a semi-automatic gun on his bus back in 2007. So he got an eight-month sentence, mm -hmm. and he just recently got caught with um, gear to listen to music. Right. So headphones, an iPod, and the jail considers that contraband. Mm -hmm. So since he had that, they decided, okay, for his last month in jail, we are going to put him in solitary confinement. Okay. Uh, now, in solitary confinement, you spend 23 hours alone, okay? And you get one hour to go out and shower and walk around. And, in fact, you actually cannot interact with the other inmates anyway, right? But at least you get to go outside of your cell. Uh, now, in normal uh, jail, you get to make a call about once a day, right? Right. Solitary confinement, one call a week. Right? A week. You're not allowed to have visitors other than your lawyer. You're not allowed to watch television. You're literally cooped up in your jail cell 23 hours a day with no contact from the outside world other than a guard who gives you food. Right. I think that would drive me crazy. No. Okay. Thank you. Look, thank you. I'm, not, I'm not some crazy little Wayne lover, you know, whatever. But what did he do? He had gear to listen to music. The rapper, God forbid, had gear to listen to music, and they're going to put him in solitary confinement for a month? Now, if that wasn't enough for you, where they really lost me is it turns out he could get that stuff from the commissary anyway. Right. It's just that this was slightly better equipment that was unauthorized. That's your punishment? For, I mean, look, I don't understand this world. First of all, he's in, like, people walk in with guns to political rallies, and that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. This guy's got, somebody had a gun on his bus. He goes to, he gets sentenced for a year, is going to serve eight months one month in solitary, right? Now, I know it depends on the jurisdiction. It depends on if he had a license. I get all that, right? But at the same time, is that appropriate punishment? I, I don't One side is allowed to have, be, have all the guns in the world, but you didn't write, fill out the right paperwork. Right. You're going to go to jail for eight months. Like, Lindsay Lohan will, like, rub cocaine in a cop's face. Be like, here, this is what I'm snorting. Here, you take this, right? She goes to jail for, like, 13 seconds. Right. So I don't... And then... He has the wrong kind of headset for his music? Right. Solitary for a month? No, and look. That's crazy. I, I, I hate the idea of solitary confinement because I'm convinced that it causes psychological damage, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I understand why some individuals in prison should be put in solitary confi confinement for a certain amount of time. But in my mind, the only people who deserve that are those who are violent, those who cause a threat, not people that are listening to music while they're in jail. That's insanity. No. That, that's a severe punishment for something so small. And my guess, now I'm just guessing here, is that um, if they, they probably didn't like, you know, mm -hmm. he probably rubbed the warden or the guards or whoever is supervising him the wrong way because that's such a thing that they could just say hey oh, I'm gonna throw it in the garbage mm -hmm. and now you have to go buy it from the commissary or they can do this insanely harsh punishment instead and they they use that discretion in this way if they didn't like him in the first place you see what I'm saying so it ain't right man it ain't right I mean on the upside it'll help with street cred but but you know I'm not sure that's worth street losing your cred. mind <laughs> like, it doesn't help Lindsay Lohan's street cred if she's in jail, but a little way, and you're like, oh, oh it's a weapons charge is nicely done. <laughs>